Hello, and uh, welcome to Pen Talk number 14. Um, I apologize right away, or not apologize, just something to note right away is that the video quality setup might look a little bit different. I'm recording this on the front facing camera of my phone because I wanted to be able to see it as I'm recording it, um, which I usually do on my computer, but my computer is currently uploading another video to YouTube for my um, knitting stuff. So I didn't want to try and have too many things on that going at once. So hence I'm trying this out. I also apologize. I'm trying to remember to look right at the camera. Um, but like right now I'm looking at the screen. So if you see me looking slightly off to the side, screen, camera, screen, camera. Um, I don't know. I can't help it. Um, you know, my eye is just drawn to the screen because that's something that's moving. So another thing, um, we have some people right outside. Um, I think it's for the building that's like next door, which is like attached to us. Um, I think they're painting. So um, if you hear things that sound like ladders and people talking, that's what that is. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Um, I kind of have to be swift about this and I'm hoping to get this edited and uploaded right away because I think Wesley and I are taking a little overnight trip up to DC this afternoon, basically. Um, Wesley's mother is in DC for some business right now. So she's like, why don't you guys come up? Um, so we're gonna do that. Um, Wesley's on campus right now. It's about 10.30 in the morning right now. Um, Wesley's on campus finishing up his last little bit of homework to hand that in. Um, and then he's home free, for, like he's done with the semester. So then we can, you know, leave. We're actually gonna drive up there instead of take the train this time because um, her hotel is outside of DC far enough that, um, that we're pretty sure it shouldn't be a problem. So, so yeah, um, which reminds me, I need to make sure I remember to put our toll pass in the car. Okay. Never mind. Um, anyway, uh, let's talk about some pen related things. Um, so first thing, sorry, I'm just looking at my notes. First thing is I was listening last night to the latest episode of the Pan Attic podcast, which I've been, I've been really bad at keeping up with podcasts lately. Um, but anyway, I was listening to the latest episode last night and I didn't actually get all the way to the end, but I made it most of the way through. It. Um, the reason I didn't make it all the way to the end. So last night, Wesley was on campus until 11 o'clock. Um, and this is just, I mean, part of this is just, this is how it is for grad students and you know, that's life. And, and of all people, I understand. Like, don't get me wrong, I understand. I've been there, I get it. Um, but at the same time, I will be so glad when he's done because um, it, it just kind of, it sucks. Like, you know, real talk, it sucks. It sucks to have my boyfriend gone all the time on campus. And, you know, part of it's because I'm not working, so I don't have a lot else to do. But um, yeah, it's kind of annoying. Anyway, um, so yeah, so I, you know, he was on campus till like 11 o'clock. And so I was like, well, you're not going to walk home at 11 o'clock. I'll come get you. So that's why I had to cut it short. But anyway, I, I listened long enough to hear the big announcement and yay, congrats, Brad. That's awesome. Um, I, I think that's going to be really good for you. And of all people, I know you can make that work. And, um, and I know how scary it is to leave something that is secure and, you know, the sure thing. Um, even if you don't like the sure thing, I know how scary it is to leave that and go into the great unknown, since uh, that's kind of what we did. <laughs> so I know how that feels, and I know that it's scary and exciting, and it'll turn out great for you guys, and I'm so happy for you. So yay. Um, so yeah, so other things, I don't have a ton of updates this week, just because I have been mostly just knitting like a fiend for the past week. Um, you know, kind of trying to use up this, this time that I have off work to knit and stuff. So, um, you know, I, I had shown my currently inked last week. It's pretty much the same. The only thing that changed is I cleaned out my Vista yesterday and I re-inked it this morning with Sailor Saiboku. So that's the only thing that's changed. This was the J. Urban Larms de Cassis, however you pronounce that, um, which I did I, before I emptied it out, I did get an ink review written up, so I'll try and have that up eventually. Um, and speaking of ink reviews, so I still don't have the official, like the official official offer for the job yet, but that's just, ugh. I guess they have to actually mail it to me, which is kind of a pain. So, um, so I'm just waiting to get that in the mail. Um, but I think I mentioned that I wasn't going to be starting till after New Year's, so it's not like it matters that much anyway. 
But um, I was in talking with the department chair last week sometime, and he said that I will, um, you know, they, they're basically short a, a TA, so I will have to take on a little bit of teaching. So I will basically be teaching like one or two lab sections. Um, which is great because, I mean, you know, for one, I love teaching and I'll be excited to be doing it again. Um, for another thing, it means that there should be more stuff to put on the blog because teaching equals grading, which equals getting to use fun, different kinds of inks, um, which equals more ink reviews. So, um, after the semester starts back up, which I think is late January, mid to late January, um, you should be seeing an uptick in ink reviews because I will be just using more inks. So... Um, so that's that. Another update. So I think I mentioned last week that I had, you know, so the blog kind of moved around. Um, I shifted some things around. If, if you were already like subscribed to the RSS feed for the regular part of the blog, then nothing should have changed if, if you just want the writing stuff. Um, I wrote up a little post about like where you can find the RSS feed for the knitting stuff if you care. Um, and then, so I think when I posted my pen talk last week I had not yet posted my first knitting video but now that's up um, and the next one should actually be posted today that's like I said that's what's uploading to YouTube right now so that should be posted today um, and I will link to if you're watching this on YouTube I will link to the channel um, the separate channel for my knitting stuff in case you care um, they're a little bit longer. I think the one today is about 50 minutes, so they're a little bit longer. So if you don't really care about knitting that much, I wouldn't. Don't watch just to be polite or anything. Um, but I did want to show one knitting thing, you know, in case you don't care enough. Um, I just have to show this off because I'm really proud of these. And if you follow me on Instagram or anything, then you've seen these. But these are a pair of socks that I just finished yesterday, and I'm super proud of them. I'm calling them my Forest for the Trees socks, and that's because there's these little pine trees on here. And then I did the heels and toes in this yarn that kind of um, goes from like green and then, you know, in parts it's orange. And then so it moves from orange and then back to green again. Um, so I just, I really love this. I, 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 these just make me so happy. I think these are my favorite pair of socks that I've knit so far. Um, and I know like a lot of knitters don't like to like toot their own horn or anything. And, and certainly like I don't want to brag in a bad way but I think like you know I don't I think knitters and crafters in general like should be proud of what they've done like if, if you've done something that makes you really happy be happy about it and tell people about it so these make me really happy so I'm telling people about them um and these are gonna the the kind of bummer is that I'm not keeping these um I'm giving them to my best friend back in Minnesota um when I go home for the holidays uh and and at this point I couldn't keep them anyway because because I decided that I'm giving them to her, these are shorter than what will fit on my foot because her foot is about uh, three centimeters shorter than my foot, which, and of course you make socks shorter than your actual foot length because they will stretch just a little bit. So that means that these are probably about five centimeters too short to fit me. <laughs> so, um, so they're hers, like they cannot be mine. Um, but I'm really proud of them. She's super excited about them. Like I've, I've been showing pictures of her and she's super excited about them. So I'm just excited and I had to share that. Anyway, done. Um, like I said, if you care more about my other knitting stuff, I will link to that podcast channel down below. Um, and then the only other thing is I got my Hobonichi stuff. I had mentioned last week that I had order, put in an order for a Hobonichi for 2016 and it arrived... Saturday. So we got them Saturday. I say we because I also ordered one for Wesley. Um, and so yeah, so that arrived and this is it. Um, I have a um, downward facing video that I'm going to go ahead and cut in where I talk about um, kind of how I was using my the, the rest of my 2015 Hobonichi and then like the differences between the cover that I had on that one and like this cover. And I, I talk a little bit about the differences between the English and the Japanese one, but by now there's plenty of videos out there that talk about the difference between the two of them. Um, and so yeah, I think that's it. I think I will go ahead and um, cut over to that and then that'll be it.
Um, the only other thing I can think of that I will mention really quick that guys probably don't care about, but whatever. Um, so I had mentioned a couple weeks ago that I was trying out different lipsticks, and this is one that I tried for the first time yesterday. That I actually bought like two weeks ago, but I was too afraid to try it because it's so dark. And it is really dark, like, you know, I maybe probably, I probably wouldn't wear this like to work, but since I'm not working, I don't care. And it's so much fun. I enjoy it so much. Like it's really dark and it's really bam, but it just makes me happy. And I don't know why, um, but I just really like it. So yeah, that's, that's that. Like if, if anyone cares, it's, I think it's the Maybelline 24 hour uh, whatever, the 24-hour color stay or whatever, and the color is constantly Cabernet, so, yeah. Anyway, so I will go ahead and, um, cut over to the Hobonichi stuff, and, yeah, see you there. Okay, so let's talk Hobonichis, and once again, I'm sorry about this guy, this is just the base for the, uh, little tripod guy holding up my camera, so there's not a lot I can do about it. I have it perched so that, you know, I can show you things out here, so you'll just have to ignore that thing. Anyway, let's talk Hobonichis. So what I have here is I have the um, Avec that I bought for the second half of 2015. I apologize for the siren. Like I've said before, I live really close to um, the fire department and stuff, so there's sirens going by all the time. And there's people outside right now. I probably talked about this in the main part of the video, but there's people outside right now. So if you hear them talking, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. They were doing work up on the roof or something. Anyway, so I have the Hobonichi Avec that I was using for the second half of 2015. And then I have my Hobonichi Full Year one for 2016 um, with the cover that I chose. And then I also have a naked 2016 Hobonichi um, this one is Wesley's. Um, he wanted it without a cover, but I figured um, I could use it to, as kind of a, a naked Hobonichi comparison to talk about a few things. So let's take a look first at what I had been using. I know I've done a few videos about this, um, but this is my Rose Poudre cover that I bought um, way back at the end of last year. Let's see if I can get this guy to focus. I don't know why it's not wanting to focus right. Hmm. Focus. There we go. Um, so this one is that kind of pale pink with the minty green interior. Um, like I said, I was using the Avex, so that's the half year one. So you can see it's very thin in there. Um, so I had started out, and I'm, I don't think I'm going to wind up showing anything sensitive, but I'll just go back to, um, you know, stuff more towards where the, it is right now. Because um, I think I mentioned last week that this was kind of a little bit of a roller coaster because like I you know I bought it and I started using it and then I stopped using it then I started using it again then stopped then started using it for just like um, personal journaling and now I've picked it back up again as kind of like a an everyday carry you know catch-all kind of notebook so um but this is the Japanese one the Avec only comes in the Japanese one so let's go ahead and go back to um I guess this is yesterday and the day before. Oh, sorry about that. Um, and this is, so this is what I've pretty much been using it for. I don't know how much you can read. I mean, it's not like there's anything personal in here, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but I've mostly just been using it for day-to-day -day stuff. So like I write to-do lists. Um, if I'm recording either like my knitting stuff or, you know, one of these pen talk videos, I will write, you know, just little points about that. Um, I write, um, you know, lists of things that need to get done, just pretty much whatever needs to get done for the day. So I've done a lot of, like, because I'm not working, I've done a lot of, like, there's a lot of knitting stuff in here. So figuring out, um, you know, like how many stitches I need to, or how many rows long I need to make the foot on a sock or something based on my gauge and the size of the person's foot or little um, knitting patterns, things like that. So that's mostly what it's been, and some days you can see are pretty blank. Um, you know, it's like I'll start the day with good intentions and write a to-do list and then not get anything done, which, you know, happens. That's fine. So, like I said, I've just been kind of using this as a catch-all because I'm not, um, you know, working yet. But, yeah, so there's that. Um, and then, so for 2016, 
um, I went with the English version and I went with a different type of cover than I had gotten before. So this is the classic, like, um, I think they call it the colors covers. Um, and it's kind of the standard Hobonichi cover. It's pretty cheap. Um, it has these, like the butterfly closure so that it can, you know, get really big and fat. It has the two bookmarks. I, I reviewed this cover much earlier in the year and I will make sure to, um, link in the description or somewhere below where you can find my review of this cover. And overall, I think these covers are fine. Um, I don't have a problem with them. Part of the reason I ordered a new cover was, well, one, I was bored with it. Two, you can see it's gotten kind of dirty and I don't, like, these can be cleaned, but um, it's not super easy to clean them. Like, the, you have to be kind of careful with it. But the other reason is because I had seen a review of this type of cover, and I'll talk more about this in just a second. People are angry outside. Um, but the person reviewing it said that it fit the Hobonichi much more snugly. So I will, why don't I talk about this a little bit, and then I'll compare the two. So this is what I got for 2016. Like I said, I got the... I think I said it. I got the English full year. So the English full year looks like this. It has this kind of black textured cover. Um, it says the year on it. Hobo, plain back. Um, and the main difference between like the English one and the Japanese one, besides just the language. Um, so the English one doesn't have the times down the side. And this, of course, is the A6. The um, English only comes in the A6 size. It's much less cluttered up top. It's a much less cluttered, like, day. Um, and I guess I happened to open this to a convenient spot. They also, before all the months, have this um, page that says coming up. So it's like you could write goals or important events for the month, um, stuff like that. And another important difference for me, because with the Japanese one, each month is in a different color. Um, and I don't like that. Um, I, to me, that just seems busy and um, unnecessary. For the English one, every day is in black, no matter the month, except for Sundays, which are in red. So it's a little visual indicator that tells you, oh, you've now moved into another week, but it's, um, it's much cleaner, I think. Like, just overall, the aesthetic of the English one, I think, is much cleaner. So that's why I got that one instead this year. So then the cover that I chose, this is the sack. S-S-A-C-K, the SAC cover, and this is the silicon covers. Um, these first came out last year. They looked different last year. Last year it was kind of a trifold. This year it's more of a book style, which I prefer. I didn't like the way they looked last year. But if you've gotten one of the Hobonichi tissue holders, it's the same material, and it really does feel exactly the same. It's very, it's smooth, but it's soft. It, I don't know how to describe it. Like if you felt it, you know what I mean? If you haven't, I, I don't know how to describe this. Like, it, I don't know. It's almost fuzzy. It's not fuzzy, but it's it's soft, but it's smooth. It's weird. Um, but now, the, you know, they've changed the closure to this kind of um, band that goes around it, which I will talk about this in just a second. Um, and then you can see here, it has the name of the cover, S-S-A-C-K, SAC. Um, and then as you open it, um, the inside cover is much more plain. So let me grab this guy. So I guess I'll kind of compare them as I go through. So this one here has a lot of pockets. This has practically no pockets. It has one little slot where an ID card could fit. And then it has this little dealy bopper, which you can use to hold your place in the book, but I find it to be relatively useless. So I might slip, I don't know, like, a little piece of paper under there if I need to hold something in, but otherwise it's pretty useless to me. Um, and then, so another main difference is that this cover only has um, one bookmark. It's the same material as the cover, which is kind of, I don't know, we'll have to see how I get along with this, because because it's the same material as the cover, it's a little bit thicker, um, so it doesn't tend to lay as flat, but I'm going to see if maybe it like, you know, breaks in or something. But I don't mind only having one bookmark because I tend to use the daily pages more than anything else. And if I need to look at the monthly or something, I can find it. You know, it's not like I need to be able to flip right to the monthly page. Um, so the back is really plain as opposed to the back of the um, colors one, which has some pockets and stuff on it. So then another big difference is the um, pen holder. 
So here, like I said, you have these butterfly clasps where, oh, sorry about that. Um, the way that you close it is you slide a pen through both of them or, you know, just one if you want, and then that holds the book together, right? So that's the closure for these books. This one, like I said, this is the closure. It's this kind of band that goes along the whole thing. And then the um, pen loop is very different. It's very small, you can see. And this is basically just meant for the clip of a pen to fit through. And let me see if I have anything handy. I guess I do. Yeah. Anyway, so you can see that this is pretty small. And obviously my Safari is not going not gonna, to not gonna work with that. Um, so it's more so meant for the clip of like a, I think like a gel pen kind of a thing. Um, so you can see that the, the clip of my Pilot Juice will fit in there just fine. And it's, I mean, it's secure. Like it's holding that clip securely. I'm not concerned about, um, you know, like this pen falling out. I, it just in general, I don't like the idea of only having a pen holding on by the clip and just kind of flopping around on there. So I probably won't use that pretty much at all. Um, which is fine. Like, the nice thing is that if I don't want to use it, it's not super obtrusive. Whereas, like, these, if I don't want to use them, they're really hanging out there. I actually tried to take these off at one point, and I found that I could not easily get them unattached without destroying the rest of the book. So, okay, so yeah, so then this closure is this band, which I don't love. Like, I, I don't know if I just haven't quite figured it out, but it's... It seems like it's a lot of work to get it on and off. Like you kind of have to like, like you can see that's not like a super smooth, easy motion. So I don't know if this is going to stay on there or not. I'm, I'm determined to leave it on until I do a full review of this cover, which will probably be after the, um, after the holidays, because I'm going to be toting it around and, you know, traveling with it and stuff and seeing how it holds up. Um, so I, I will for sure leave it on until after then. But, but after I do that review, I, if I decide I really hate it and don't want it, I may just cut it off. Which, which is the nice thing about this cover is anything you don't like, you can just cut it off because it's all just the silicon. So like if I decided I didn't want this pen loop, I could just take an X-Acto knife to it and cut it off. Um, so that's really nice. Another really nice thing about this is that it's much smaller of a cover. So here you can see them kind of side by side. Here's the colors and here's the um, sack. So that I'm trying to line up the spines. And you can see that um, that this is a much s slimmer profile, I think. Um, like if I line them up um, along the bottom edge, you can see that this cover is much wider and much taller. Um, and that's, it's not, you know, the book inside is the same size. This cover just has way more overhang to it, um, which has always kind of annoyed me because you take this really nice, you know, slim, sleek book and then you make it way bigger by putting this cover on it. And especially if you use the cover on cover, then it gets even bigger. So I really, that's what I saw in that other review, which if I remember, I will try and um, link that below as well. I think it was the vegan organizer is the person who did it. So I'll try and remember to link her review down below. Um, but she, um, talked about how much slimmer of a fit it was and that's what I really wanted. Um, I really wanted something that was just going to be like a second skin for my Hobonichi and and kind of in looking at this it, it makes me think of like the leather covers by um, One Star Leather like just kind of in how it fits and stuff and so I thought that's also nice because I want one of those covers but you know they're kind of pricey and I just wasn't sure that I wanted to spring for that. So I feel like this lets me get kind of an idea of how they are, and if I decide I really like this, then I can go ahead and buy one of those. But I'd say if you're looking for a cover with a really nice, slim fit, um, at least based on my initial impressions, I think this is gonna be a good choice. Um, you, As you can see, like it fits tightly, so it's not like there's a lot of room for this to expand into a big, bulky book. So if you do a lot of like scrapbooking or painting or something like that, you might have troubles with it. Um, and it does collect dust. Like, I'm not sure that you can really see it, but, you know, from being on the floor, which is, you know, just inherently kind of dusty, like, I can feel there's dust on it, but it doesn't look that dirty. And the other nice thing about these silicon covers is that when they get dirty, I can just take the book out and I can run this underwater and wash it off. Unlike these covers where you have to be a little bit more careful cleaning them. So that was definitely a selling point for me on this one. And part of the reason why I bought one of the brighter colors versus, like, the navy it was because I figured I can just wash this off anytime it gets dirty. 
so yeah, um, that's going to be kind of my plan for 2016. Um, like I said, I will probably do an update. Um, I'll, I'll definitely review the cover after the holidays because I want to, you know, give it a few weeks of being toted around and used and all of that and see how it, how it's holding up because I feel like within a couple weeks I can get a gauge on how this is going to work out for me. Um, and then probably maybe towards the end of January or the end of February, once I'm really into my new job and I've been using this for a little bit, I will talk a little bit about how I'm using this um, in 2016. But yeah, that's it. And I guess this will be the end of the video. Um, so yeah, thanks, and I will see you guys later. Bye!